Hello. Hello, how you doing? No, I'm kidding. It's Crystal again. Crystal's beautiful chaos. Oh, hell no. My bad, you guys. A momento. I hit the outlet by accident. Anyways, my bad. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure to stick around. Hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Peyton Shaman. Sorry for the music in the background. We do a lot of shopping also here. I'm trying to get back into my crafting and DIYing. It's super hard right now. Um, make sure to go check out Miss Frugal J if you haven't done so already. Why? Because one, she's awesome and hauls all kinds of cool shit. But also because she could really do Got two. Got two. Got two. She could really use everybody's love, support, and prayers. She is still currently residing in Chicago when she typically works and resides in Florida. She's in Chicago right now and has been for almost the past six months because her son, Joel, who's 32, was in a horrible motorcycle accident and is suffering from a traumatic brain injury. He is in a facility right now um, trying to relearn many, many things that most of us take for granted on a daily basis. Um, his insurance is poo, which isn't typical. They don't want to cover much of anything, so the facility is in is not providing many things that they should be, in my opinion. So Jay and the family have to bring things in, and being she is out of work right now, or just actually got a part-time job in Chicago, being she's been there longer than anticipated, um, money is tight. So if you guys want to contribute anything financially, that'd be great. She has a GoFundMe set up by Everything Mari, and she also has her cash app on her community tab. But if you can't do anything financially, that's quite all right. Just make sure to go check her channel out and watch her videos through the ads as well because that's how she earns extra revenue on her channel, and that's pretty much the only income she's making right now until her job kicks in. And you guys know how long that can take for your first paycheck. Some of them hold pays and all that poo-poo. Anyhow, y'all. Oh, finally, she shut her door. We're just going to start off with whatever was in my thumbnail because it's sitting right in front of me. And I'm sure you guys have seen this crap before because I've seen it. But I just found it in my DT when I got back from Michigan. So last weekend, maybe. I don't know. Everything's just running together, y'all. Okay, so super excited to find the Kinder's Mains. Premium quality established in 1946. So I got the only two versions I found in my store. This one is the fajita rice bowl with Mexican rice. And then this one is the street taco with lime and garlic rice. So let me explain to you what these are because I was reading the back of these to my daughter yesterday. They're, the concept is very similar to like a, a hamburger helper in terms of all you need to add to make this is um, one pound of ground meat, beef, which is preferably 15% fat is best. And then you add a one and third, fourth cups of water. That's it. So we're going to give these a try. Peyton's big into rice and I felt like this was something that, you know, she would really enjoy it. And they each make a serving of four. And then it says, like, perfect for beef, chicken, and turkey. And then make, it gives you different tips, like making the best rice, adding toppings, making regular tacos, using leaner meats, things along those lines. So, I thought that was interesting. I will let you guys know if and when we try these and if we like them. <clears throat> then I was super excited to find the moon pies in the pumpkin spice. You get six mini moon pies. So, grab just one box of those. I hear I hear great reviews about these. Though. So, and then I found by Sweet Chaos the drizzled popcorn and the candy corn drizzled with sweet candy corn frosting, non-GMO popcorn popped in coconut oil. Mm. So, and you get I got the hiccups now. Fifteen ounces in that. So there be that. Okay. Next. Next. I finally found the cupcake pan or the muffin pan. They're calling it a muffin pan. With the different pumpkin shapes. I'll pull that out. Because it's driving me crazy. 
driving me cray cray. Whatever. Okay. So the tall ones, the fat squatty ones. I've been wanting that, so when I found it, I just picked one up. I got some more slatty stuff. If you watch my first part one of this haul, I had a coffin, so then I picked up the witch's hat. And I also picked up the tombstone. What else we got in her? Oh, they had the cup cupcake 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 it's cupcake no the cupcake wraps you get 12 pieces and i just picked this up with the bats i don't know if i'm going to use these for cupcakes or if i'm going to crack with them <laughs> so funny and then i picked up this um skeleton garland you only get four skeletons on it it's 60 inches long that's five feet long and they only give you four of these puny little fellers on there I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Only one. I don't even remember buying this sign. That's how sad this is. One Halloween sign, I think. It says, Happy Halloween, boo. I thought that was cute. I like this. I like this right here. I thought that was cute. And the pumpkin is like, you know, 3D. An extra piece. A lot of glitter. A lot of glitter fallout. I don't know if you get it. You can see that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Last two things in this bag, and I ripped the, tab, the top off one of them. Um, they had these felt sheets, and you get eight pieces in each. So I picked up this pack as black blue. It like has the primary colors in it. You see that? I mean? And then I picked up this pack that has the lighter colors in it. So like a tan, a purple, and there's pink in there. Yellow, green, orange. So I didn't think that was bad because you can buy single sheets of felt from like even Walmart for I think it's like 30 cents a sheet or some shit like that. Empty bag alert, empty bag. That means I can use it for this shit. Because you guys, if you don't remember me saying in my last fall, this room's a mess. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. Every room in the house except for the kitchen. Kitchen and bathroom are a mess. Okay, and this is why. One I was crafting before we left for Michigan, so that mess is still sitting here. But then I get the bright idea to rearrange my office, to turn it into just my office and not my craft room and include it too. Office with this damn beanbag chair. I don't know if you guys remember. I'll try to remember to put a picture of this friggin' beanbag chair, which is the size of a love seat. It's in the middle of my living room floor. I'm not trying to carry it back up my steps. It's a pain in the ass. It takes three of us to do it. Nobody's here enough to deal with that. I'm like, you know what? We'll just put it in my office. We'll leave my office in there with the beanbag chair because Peyton's always having somebody crash here. That way it'll be like a guest room. Well, because of that, everything that was in my office as my craft room is here, here, my office, and upstairs. It's a night. It's a nightmare. And I started that on Saturday. Why I didn't start that when we came back? I have no energy. That's why. Okay. They only had this version of these tabletop signs. It says bugs and hisses. Got the spider and the spider webs. This is orange, which I was kind of surprised it was painted orange at all. On the sides, they usually leave them naked. But I thought it was cute. I know there's other versions around because I've seen haulers hauling them. However, uh, not for me. In my area, can't show you that. That's from Walmart. And so is that. Okay, and then they finally, oh my God, finally had the white styrofoam pumpkins at my Dollar Tree. They did not get them last year, but they have them this year, I think. Yeah, I bought two. Just because they're going to be so much easier to paint over than that damn orange or black. So I got two of those. Some more food. I thought this was an awesome deal. And Peyton's gonna, she doesn't even know I bought things. She doesn't even, and these are good until January 24th of 23. You get three packs of the Keebler's Toasted Harvest Wheat crackers. For $1.25. Okay. I'm not gonna say no to that. No, sir, no. Yeah. Then they have the Chicago American Chicago Caramel and Cheddar Popcorn. You get 3.5 ounces. This is a different brand that I'm used to having. I haven't tried this yet, as you can tell. 
I'll try it one day this week. Possibly. Possibly. I don't know. I was, when I bought this stuff, I was starving. Don't go shopping when you're hungry. That seems to be my trend. A lot of this I'm looking at is snacks. Okay? Like my fat ass needs any snacks. Anyhow, um, then I picked up the Brim's Snack Foods. You get the cheese balls. Good till December 16th of 22. You get nine ounces. Pretty decent size bags are filled up to here. My nose is now itching. That means I'm going to kiss a fool, according to my granny. That's what she used to say. I found the Oreo pumpkin spice sandwich cookies. Sandwich. The sandwich cookies. You get six cookies in here. We're going to give these a try. Picked up some of the nacho cheese dip for Peyton's chip dip in that because she was going to eat some that we had. But it went bad. So I picked up a different one. And then they had the turtle bites on clearance for 50 cents because they expire at the end of this month. So I'm sure we'll eat those before then. Somebody will. And then I was excited to find this uh, sugar, sugar skull day of the dead. Um, Smarties container. They had the dark purple, light purple. Maybe a yellow and a green. I'll flank. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. <coughs> okay. And we have two more bags. Okay. This was new to me. To me. I don't quite understand it. It says vinyl paper etched glass permanent. So I'm going to have to really figure out what the hell they mean by this. Because I have etching cream. Like I did my dad a set of wine glasses. This was the test run on one of my wine glasses. I didn't like this so I ended up changing it. But this is what that one turned out like. I didn't leave the etching on long enough. I'm impatient sometimes. Okay. More no, wait, there's one beauty product in here. It's the Ioni brow gel. Tinted and non-sticky, tame and volume. This is the earth. Oh no, it's no no. It's still the zodiac. So it says the earth. Capricorn ambitious, Virgo kind, Taurus devoted. So give that a try as well. I'm right now my eyebrows are on with um they're real obviously but I color them I, I fill them in right now with the Ioni brow powder. It's like a little mini palette thing. Get to more of the gummy bears, the Harbo gummy bears with the little packets in there. I don't think it tells you how many packets you get and I don't remember. And then we found the Caramel Apple Soft Caramels by Werther's. I picked up two of these. And you get 2.22 ounces in those. And what's this one? I picked up three of those. I think I was I picked up three of those. I don't know, unless I thought it was a pumpkin spice one, because they had the pumpkin spice ones at Dollar Tree finally. And you also get 2.22 ounces of these. I'm totally like, what did I do? Peyton will eat them. Okay. That's punk. Last bag, y'all. Oh, that's a Walmart thing, too. Aside from the second pumpkin. I got the Windex Multi-Surface Disinfected Cleaner. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Refill bottle. Bottle made of 100% plus recycled plastic. And you get 26 fluid ounces in here. That is an awesome deal. Always need cleaning supplies. And okay, I'll do this bag. This bag was lost. Because I remember telling you guys a few hauls back, I had another bag of shit. I don't know where the shit is. I can't find it. I found it when we were doing my office. So this is nothing spectacular. This is all old, older stuff. But figure out why, why not share. I did pick up these canvases with the butterflies and dragonflies. Thought these were gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. There are those. I got three more of these. So what was the original one I showed you guys? I don't remember. 
brown, black, and mostly black and some gold. This weird shape, black and gold. In this weird shape, gold and black. Okay. And then the last couple things in here are the, um, how do they call these? Wreath charms, okay? So I got the, well, hello, wreath, wreath charm. You can use these for whatever, but it also comes with the thing to hang them on. I got the butterfly. And I got the one with the bumblebee that says, scatter kindness. <laughs> okay, you guys, that's it for this second part Dollar Tree haul. I will see you guys with a collective haul next time. I love you all so much for spending some time with me, and I appreciate you all as well. Make sure to drop a comment with which one of my finds is your favorite find in this video today. Bye. Guys, I wanted to add something real quick to part one and part two, so this is just going to be repeated in both. We're almost to 500 subbies. I think the last time I checked, we're at 402, 403, something like that. So please don't forget that once we hit that 500 mark, we're doing a $15 giveaway, either of a Dollar Tree gift card or Cash App, whichever the per winner pre prefers. So make sure to like this video because it does help the channel grow and all that fun stuff. Okay, that's it. Now I gotta go because I'm gonna rush Peyton. Let's skedaddle battle to go get this grocery shopping done. Cause it's almost 6 30 and i got shit heading up in this house okay love you